We apologise for ourselves so much. We apologise for the space that we take up in the world. We apologise for our experiences and our opinions. And what I love about Colette is that she didn't. Um, and I found that incredibly inspiring. She explored her identity and she explored her sexuality without shame. And I think still today that that's something that, that we don't do. We don't explore ourselves or our sexuality without shame. I think there's a lot of shame around all of that. I think you need to see women like this that have actually done it, that have, have been there and kind of fought their fight so that you know that you can fight yours. When I was about 14, I was really looking for somebody like this to look at. I think she's a really cool woman. And I think, again, the fact that she just, she found a world that the rules didn't make sense to her and uh, the, the confines of it didn't make sense to her, so she just ripped it apart. I still want to aspire to see things I don't think are fair or that I don't think are right and like rip them up and kind of try and write them. The world is changing, you know, 10 years ago I would do interviews, you couldn't mention feminism, you couldn't mention the fact that women weren't equal, you couldn't mention anything about any of this. Is it going to be change overnight and everything's going to be okay? No, of course it's not. It's going to take people of a younger generation to carry on that fight and to not accept inequality. It's going to take every teenage girl going, I want my slice of this cake, I want my voice heard, I want to have equal pay, I want to have a right over my own body. You know, it's gonna take that fight, that next generation to do that. So go on. <laughs>